What is up guys, Rick Akis here, and the topic today I want to talk about is, is Titanfall worth 60 bucks? A lot of people are saying, you know, and even including myself, you finish the game pretty early, the campaign is pretty lackluster, uh, there isn't as much content as we're used to with a first person shooter these days, but the question, is Titanfall worth a full $60, is an unequivocal yes. Yes, it is. Now, I want to get that out of the way so I can explain my reasoning. Firstly, the people uh, that are saying, you know, Titanfall doesn't have enough stuff, they are warranted compared to even Call of Duty Ghosts, a lot of the Call of Duties and the battlefields and stuff. Uh, this game does not have just as much stuff, even the guns. There's only like seven guns in Titanfall compared to, you know, there's more than seven guns per class in Battlefield 4, then there's four classes, and then there's classless guns which again there's even more than seven in those so compared to a game like Battlefield 4 this game has pretty limited guns but then again it it makes it almost a good thing you know we're forgetting the good old days of like something like Call of Duty 4 where Call of Duty 4 did not have that much stuff but it was still so so much fun and we're for kind of forgetting those days because we're, we're pampered, honestly, and we're used to so much content being thrown at us. But one of the advantages of Titanfall only have like seven guns is that each gun is so unique and so different than each other. There's only one light machine gun, and it is very, very different than the SMG, which is very, very different than the carbine. Each gun is so different that it creates different playstyles. In a game like Battlefield, with a lot of the guns are pretty damn similar, like the amount of guns that do 25 damage maximum and are between 700 and uh, 900 rounds per minute, there's a lot of them. And eventually what happens is you get guns like the Ace-23 that are clearly superior because they have just barely, minutely better stats than their counterpart guns, and then you just get guns being used way more than other guns and you get kind of overpowered guns but you know the things that make these guns overpowered are just minor minor adjustments to accuracy and firing rate and stuff like that whereas in Titanfall you have guns that are so different I mean the carbine I think is a little bit overpowered right now but you have guns that are so different that you can you know try a new gun and get a whole different gameplay experience whereas in Battlefield using the Ace-23 and the M416 I mean they're really not that different uh, in all honesty and a lot of people are forgetting that you not only customize your guy, but you customize your Titan too. And so it's almost like you get an entirely different custom class that you get to bring into battle with you. So the combinations of like what pilot you run combined with what Titan you run, I haven't even explored them all. And I think that people are, are kind of, again, they're a little bit too pampered. And they, they see that there isn't as much guns in this game and they just kind of question it immediately whereas I think that in truth what you have for Titanfall is an extremely fun game this game is fun that's why I've been playing this so much it's hard to go back to Battlefield you go back in Battlefield it's like fuck great got killed by the Ace 23 Silence again for the 40,000th time and Titanfall is just such a fun fun game you're calling in Titans your Titans falling on people for God's sakes and killing them and stuff like that and it really is just an experience in and of itself. That is totally worth $60. Now, it doesn't come with that much content, but again, look back to Call of Duty 4. Would anyone argue that Call of Duty 4 wasn't worth $60? Absolutely not. That game is unbelievably good and paved the way for so many other multiplayer games. Titanfall is an excellent, excellent game. And although it doesn't have the content that we're used to with a AAA first-person shooter, this game isn't a triple-A first-person shooter, it's like a double-A first-person shooter. The studio that made this only had like, I think it was 60 people working there. So they've produced a phenomenally fun game, and we should all take it at that. Don't take it as, it only has seven guns, take it as you drop robots on people, and it's fucking fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and as always, have a good day. Stop. Get to the enemy. Oh.